I don't have a positive ID yet, but I think we may be looking at Mr. Floyd Collister, also known as Marcel, the grand dame of the Las Vegas female impersonators. You a fan? Mrs. Doubtfire is more my taste. The smell of booze is pretty strong. Well, I imagine Floyd's probably in his mid to late 70s, so if he tied one on last night, accidents will happen, along with maybe a stroke or a heart attack. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you might really be right about tying one on. See her, he has wrists. Looks like ligature marks. Someone wanted to make sure their drinking buddy didn't leave too soon. Didn't leave until he was dead. She. You mean, until she was dead. I'm just saying. Hey, good to see you. I can always depend on the kindness and assistance of my fellow CSIs. I just got started. You're welcome to jump in on the scene with me. Or, you can talk to our one and only witness over there. You mean how she died? Well, at first blush, it's tough to say. Could be natural causes, but the special cirques are those ligature marks on the wrists and ankles. We'll know more once we get her over to Doc Robbins. Doesn't look like it. There's cash in the register, and nothing really stands out as being out of place or missing. It's been around a pretty long time. I remember I almost had my bachelorette party here. Not that my bachelorette party was that long ago, but anyway. After you. Hello, sir. We're with the Las Vegas Crime Lab. Can we get your name? Sure. Name's Gary Beaumont. I've been pretty much a regular here for, gosh, 30 years, give or take, right? Everybody knows me. I even have my own chair over there. That's mine. Nobody else gets to sit there but my butt. I found her, yes. I showed up about 9 o'clock for Bloody Mary Sundays. That's what Marcel calls it. And I I'm walking in and passing right by the stage, and, and that's when I saw her. Face down. I got up there, and... I tried to wake her up, but she wasn't breathing, and I couldn't save her. I, I don't have any kind of training. I, I, I used to know CPR, but, you know, I, I just called 911. That's all I thought I could really do. Besides Mr. Collister, that is. Mr. Collister? I'm sorry, don't you mean Marcel? Yes, yeah, sorry. It's a bit confusing. Marcel. I, I didn't mean to jump on you. It's just that Marcel was truly a lady. The most kind, gracious, generous, loving, feminine spirit I've ever known. As for Floyd Collister, that person's dead to me. Well, she did own a bar. I mean, I suppose you don't have to drink to own a bar, but, but Marcel did. Drink and own a bar. Both. She also smoked like a chimney. Well, if a chimney smoked a pack and a half in that Sherman's a day, anyway. Miss Apprehension scolded her about it all the time. I'm sorry. I wasn't quite clear whether Marcel was having some misapprehension about her health, or there's actually a person named Miss Apprehension? Oh, no. She's not a person. She's a diva. The divine Miss A. She's been performing at the club for, well, for as long as I've been here. You probably never heard of her, because Marcel only let one star shine here. Hers. Do you know Miss Apprehension's real name? You probably want me to say her real name is Wallace Biganowski, but she'll always be Miss A to me. Would you say they got along? Oh, no. No, no. Oil and water. Cats and dogs. Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. I mean, those two fought constantly. But they needed each other. Marcel was the star around here, but she was just awful with money. Miss A kept this place in business. Do things ever get violent between the two of them? No, never. They yelled a lot, but 
I think they really loved each other. Oh no, poor Miss A. She'll be devastated when she finds out. I should probably try to find her in case she needs a shoulder to cry on. Let me think. No, that's really all that stands out to me. If I remember something, can I call you? Do you have a card? You don't think they'll close the club down, do you? You can smell the alcohol, right? PAC might have contributed to the death. No prints there. 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 Our victim has tentatively been identified as Floyd Collister, but apparently he's better known as Marcel. Brass says he's known to be one of the best female impersonators in Las Vegas. I believe the term he used was Grand Dame. Enough booze for any occasion. I'm tempted, but no. Looks like Marcel forgot to take her pills.
Hmm. Looks like this Wallace Beganowski is angling for partial ownership in this club. And judging by this note, the negotiations aren't going well. Oh yes, the good stuff. Let's just make sure it gets back to the lab. In the bottle. Someone's gotten into the whiskey. Nice work. I'll have Doc Robbins send someone down and pick up the body. Whoa, so that's what Marcel looks like in the morning before she puts on her face. She's been a fixture in this town for as long as I can remember. But I don't think anyone's seen her like this, at least not in public. We pulled her, well, Floyd Collister's DMV records. He was born in 1938, which means Marcel is 71 years old, but she looks much younger, don't you think? Well, what time taketh away, cosmetic surgery giveth back. To some degree, anyway. I'll check her medical records for the precise number of procedures. Okay. You know, I hate to be a stickler for detail about this, but we haven't really positively identified this victim. We didn't recover any form of identification on the body or at the scene. So before we go any further, let's just make sure this is Marcel or Floyd Collister or whoever or whatever, all right? I love the easy ones. Here you go. You know, they say celebrity deaths come in threes. I'm certainly not anxious to see another. Here, I found some skin under the victim's fingernails. I collected a sample for DNA. I guess Marcel may have gotten a piece of her killer. What can you tell us about those contusions around his wrists and ankles? Well, they're definitely consistent with ligature marks. The development of the bruising suggests the victim was restrained to anti-mortem. I also noticed a larger contusion on the back of her head, also anti-mortem. She might have been struck from behind. She died of respiratory depression due to alcohol poisoning. It's as though she were tied down and then the alcohol strangled her. Terrible. Hmm. But it's possible that all this could have been just a horrible accident, right? Actually, I don't think it's possible. Respiratory or heart failure usually occurs when one's blood alcohol level is somewhere around 0.4%. Now, most people in relatively good health tend to pass out around 0.3. Marcel's BAC was 0.5.5%. I don't believe there's any way someone at her age, even as healthy as she seemed to be, could have consumed that much alcohol on her own. Force-fed alcohol. It's like some fraternity prank gone bad. 
Yeah, but it actually reminds me of a serial killer case my boss, when I first started here, used to talk about a lot. What did they call the guy? The Barber Street Boozer. The Barber Street Boozer. Yeah, wasn't that in the mid-70s? I think 1975. I was a little girl, but I kind of remember people talking about him. Well, I'm sure it seemed particularly deviant at the time. What was it? Four Johns trolling for transvestite prostitutes. They wind up dead, all of them force-fed alcohol. You know, if I'm not mistaken, all four of those murders occurred in the same neighborhood as Marcel Cabaret, and the Barber Street boozer... Never got caught. You could have a cold case on your hands. I'll put in the request for the cold case files on the Barber Street boozer. It'll be worth it just to see if there are any other similarities between this case and those unsolved. It's what I live for. The alcohol on the victim matches the alcohol on the bottle, which means it was a classic cork party. Pills were recovered at the scene were prescribed to Floyd Collister. They're hydramazine. It's a heart medication. So, if we run an extended tox panel and find him in Marcel's system, that'd be positive ID. We're looking for any sign of the drug hydramazine. Hydramazine. It's a heart medication that works to expand the blood vessels. I don't see any evidence that this victim was using it, though. So that's not Floyd Collister. Just what we need. An impersonator of an impersonator. Oh, good. You're still here. I just don't feel like being anywhere else right now. This place always felt like home. But now that Marcel's dead, I, I just don't know. We're hoping you can help us with a case of mistaken identity. Oh, what do you mean? Would you mind coming down to the coroner's office with us? Sure, I, I can do that. But you mean it might not be Marcel? I don't understand. But sure, no problem. Whatever you need, I, I'll, I'll come with you right now. I, I, that's not... Oh, no! That's not Marcel! It's not. Do you know who it is, Mr. Beaumont? But, but I saw her! I saw her with my own eyes, I'm telling you! But this... Oh, dear God, that's Wally! I can't believe it, that's Wally Beganowski! I mean, I mean, misapprehension! What the hell's going on? Mr. Beaumont, we're so very sorry. And we deeply appreciate your help. I can give you the name of someone if you need someone to talk to right now. And I promise we'll be in touch, okay? Thank you. Well, looks as though Marcel just went from being our victim to being our prime suspect. I'll have Brass track down her home address and put a bolo out on her car. Or rather, his car, since it's still registered under Floyd Callister. While he's covering that, why don't we check out Mr. Biganowski's home, see what we can find there. <laughs> 